everybody and two weapons back again with you out at the range today just doing a little bit of testing with the pivot head HD sunglasses we got the clear lenses in them today uh, we got the Smith & Wesson MMP 22 put the green laser on it from last time just haven't taken it off yet not sure if I'll use that or not and we got about 100 rounds I think there of 22 Winchester white box uh, did a little bit of test shooting already with the glasses on 720p 60 frames per second and the glasses were was not in the field or the gun was not in the field of view while I was doing the video so that uh, was kind of a bummer I was expecting to be able to see what was going on did a little bit of testing at home and uh, put it to the 1080p and it seemed like it was working a little bit better so that's kind of what we're going to test with it today as you can see we got the steel target up there down in the middle and a couple yellow targets left and right uh, the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 is a accurate little gun here, so we'll see what we can get out of it. But uh, really hoping just that uh, the field of view comes out for you guys on these glasses. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, first shots with the pivot head and M&P 22. Do a little bit of steel. All right, round two. Hopefully the field of view is coming out for you guys. I think it's shooting a little high. We're gonna go for the yellow targets and see where we're landing. From what I can see on the steel targets, it's definitely landing high. Yeah, I got a failure to eject. Like a failure to feed. Failure to feed. Not sure what's going on. Could be this ammo. And we're empty. Let's go take a look at that target. Nice fall day out. These are changing colors. Oh yeah, we're definitely high and left here. Don't really have this thing sighted in very well. Same thing with the steel target. It's like it's high and left pretty significantly. Might have to do some sight adjustment here real quick if I can. Alright guys, so this time I have my little camera out there set up on the steel target. See if I'm going to be able to uh, test some doing this, uh, what do they call it, the uh, video and video type thing. I've never really done that before. I see a lot of people doing it, so we'll go ahead and give that a try. We'll also probably throw on the laser here and see if that shows up. I'm not sure if it will on that orange target or not, or if the battery's good enough to handle it at uh, 25 yards. And we're 
empty. My wife once mentioned using this as kind of a regular camera, just kind of set the lens down and see what you can pick up that way. So yeah, it's more of a test. We'll kind of see what we can do on that. <laughs> 